So I also have a trio of Chinese beauty snakes. And I've always loved the beauty snakes. They are named appropriately. These are rat snake, Asian rat snake, obviously, from China. Just love the eye pattern. Um, love the multiple body, body patterns. You know, the head and neck area is clean. And then they get this, this pattern down through their back. But then it turns into like a stripe at their tail. Um, side pattern also changes as it goes down their body. Just look at that striped tail. Isn't that amazing? And they get to be a pretty good size, which is why I'm showing you them individually. Because <laughs> uh, they're a little much to manage two at a time if I want to show you their pattern. So uh, this is uh, my adult female. She is a, a decent size adult, but uh, will get bigger. Um, hopefully, well, she's not looking like it. I was hoping that she would uh, breed this year, but she's still looking pretty thin. But as you can see, they are beautiful, beautiful animals. Um, they are skittish is probably the right word for them. Um, and I always need to keep an eye on their enclosure when I open it because they may make a run for it. But as you can see, they're not aggressive in any way. Um, and so they will settle down quite quickly when handled. Um, and they're just wonderful animals. So I want to show you a, an incredible morph of these guys. As beautiful as these are, um, there is a calico morph that just completely changes the game as far as what they look like. And since I really love the natural look, it's fun to have the calico as well as a dramatically different look. Let me show you a calico. So here's the calico. Chinese beauty and as you can see obviously very different looking um, this happens to be a hypo version of that but you might also call it albino you can see the eyes are pink um, seems like it maybe is more than hypo but that's how it was sold to me but you can see this is a beautiful beautiful snake um, people often think of it as looking similar to the um, palmetto corn snake. Um, when you see them side by side, they, they do look somewhat different um, in their patterns. Obviously, the snakes look very different. This is much larger than any corn snake's going to get, certainly much longer than any corn snake's going to get. Um, and the patterns end up looking quite a bit different. Um, and the background color is somewhat different as well. As, oh, but when you see them separately, they, you just think they're both white. But one's a little more cream colored and um, uh, they end up being an incredible snake. And as you can see, this girl is a pretty big snake. I don't know if we can spread you out. She's all tied up. So she just goes on and on. This girl gave me eggs last year, her first clutch, a small clutch of six. Um, all six hatched, all six were healthy, all six were males. Just my luck. So this year we're hoping she gives me some eggs again. Maybe a few more, or at least some females this time. But Hypo Calico Chinese Beauty Snake. Incredible animal.
Here's a beautiful black African house snake. Uh, this girl literally laid eggs yesterday. So they can breed at a pretty small size. And they don't have the eye markings that the brown African house snakes do. Um, I believe these guys, if I understand correctly, are just very dark uh, olive or green um, African house snakes. So they're a little different subspecies. Um, I've kept both. I really like these better. Um, they just seem a little more docile. I really like kind of the simplicity of their pattern with such a dark um, back, uh, back and white belly. Um, I also love the olive version of these snakes, but I don't have any of those. I just have these dark guys. So maybe some of their babies will come out olive. We'll see. But they're a fun snake. One of the things I've learned about these guys is sometimes, uh, although being African house snakes, which are traditionally very easy feeders, this female would not eat for me. She was not interested. And then I offered her a little pinky rat, which she ate immediately. So she will eat rats every time, but not interested in mice, interestingly. Once I figured that out, she was off to the races with growing up. So, black African house snake. Very docile species, easy to keep, fun animals. This is an eastern black rat snake that has two heterozygous traits that show it that show itself in the animal that you see here. Uh, so eastern black rat snake uh, that is het leucistic and het calico. Het leucistic, het calico ends up looking like this, which is neither leucistic or calico, nor in between, really, in, in look. Um, but genetically, yeah, with these two together, they come up with this look. A het leucistic um, eastern black rat is called a rusty. Um, and it has its own unique look. And therefore, because this is Het leucistic, which makes it rusty, and het calico, um, it is called a rustico black rat snake. So you can check this guy out. Obviously, she is going to get much larger before she's ready to make more rusticos. Pretty interesting look on these guys. Beautiful head, pretty cool pattern. All of the other versions I've seen have turned much more yellow than this one has turned so far. I would love for her to keep this kind of more of an orange look, but I've got a feeling she's going to get more yellow as she matures. Um, but she looks very nice. Rustico Eastern Black Rat Snake. We got a lot of cool colubrids, um, and in particular a lot of cool uh, rat snakes in, the, in North America.
So this is the male I have to breed with that Rustico Eastern Black Rat Snake. Um, he is leucistic um, and as you can see very much not a black rat snake but a white one and with leucistic um, traits oftentimes you will get as I mentioned in a previous video um, some bug eyes. Um, if you look at this guy his eyes do seem a little a little larger than they ought to be um, and hopefully that will not be an issue um, but I'm when I breed him to the Rustico female, I will get half Rusticos and half Leucistic. Um, so if I end up getting some bug eyes out of that, out of the Leucistic versions, I will probably breed, get a male uh, Calico and breed that to the Rustico. Then I will get half Calicos, half Rusticos and hopefully no bug eyes. I'm just not a fan of the bug eyes. I don't, I don't like it when you breed the snake and it ends up looking like some sort of mutant, essentially. Um, so, his aren't too bad. Um, I didn't even notice them for the first five or six months I had them, I think. And then I was taking pictures one day and I thought, you know what, those eyes seem a little big. So, maybe he'll grow into them. Or maybe that's just the nature of having white scales around your eyes. It makes them look a little bigger. I'm not sure. Here's a pair of uh, what I'm calling a tiger phase, Leonis king snakes. Um, Leonis king snakes are also known as variable king snakes because when you breed them together um, they create a wide variety of looks uh, both the milk snake phase uh, the Leonis phase and then an intermediate phase they come in a variety of colors and patterns <laughs> um, but I ended up having one pop out that had sort of a, this bright orange and very dark um, small banding here that looked like a tiger to me and I liked both the color and the pattern and so I held on to that one and brought it back to another bright orange one that was more of a normal Leonis looking pattern and ended up getting um, several that looked very much like that mother and then I held on to those and I've ended up producing this tiger face orange with stripes and even though they are variable king snakes um, when I breed these guys together most of them 80% of them come out looking some version of this orange with uh, some pretty thin banding um, and then a few uh, with a little thicker banding um, occasionally they're not orange but that's even more rare I produced a really pretty one that was yellow um, last year uh, so it was a yellow pattern um, but it still had this kind of banding um, so I really like these Leonis king snakes um, mistakenly called Therai for years and years Therai kings so if you if you recognize that name that is the that is what these snakes are but that's not the proper nomenclature. I called them their eye for years and years. Um, so here they are. Leonis king snakes, aka variable king snakes. And a great animal. I mean, these are full grown, so they don't get that big. They're incredibly um, productive breeders. They feed very well. And if handled regularly, um, they're very mellow, as you can see mine are. I love these guys.